This is the Digitally Remastered Network. Greetings, game heads of the United States of America, planet Earth, and the known universe. This is Eli the Game Guy. I am your host, Eli Williams, and this week we are counting down my top 10 Nintendo Entertainment System games. It is on like Tron, folks. Let's blow it up. Ah, yes, the Nintendo Entertainment System. The 8-bit third-generation home video console conquered the Atari 2600, came to us on July 15th of 1983. The Nintendo, or NES, or Nintendo Entertainment System, however you want to look at it, was revolutionary. I bought mine with my Christmas paper route tips in the Christmas, right before Christmas of 1983. Uh, It was huge. Huge, huge, huge. And we're going to count down my top 10 all-time favorite Nintendo Entertainment System games, starting with number 10, Contra. Oh, yes. Contra was a run-and-gun video game developed and published by Konami. Originally released as a coin-operated arcade game on February 20th, 1987. Contra was amazing. It was... Wow. I The words don't describe. Side-scroller, you got two guys. You could team up with your buddy. He could play too. You ran to the left. You collected weapons. You fought aliens. Essentially, it was the video game version of aliens, sort of, like you kind of played as the Space Marines and you destroyed aliens, and uh, and there were guys that shot at you. And of course, the infamous Konami code worked for this game, uh, so you could get extra lives, I think it was 30 lives that you could get. But, Contra, badass game, totally cool, if you've never played it, check it out. Number 9, Golgo 13, Top Secret Episode. It was released in 1988, several years after the release of the system. I remember when this game came out. I wanted it so bad because I saw the pictures in Nintendo Power of this game. And it just looked amazing. Um, It's based on a popular manga Japanese animation, anime, however you want to look at it. Uh, You take on the role of Gogo 13, also known as Duke Togo. He's an assassin. His objective is to destroy the leader of the Drek group. This game had many different aspects to it. There was side-scrolling. There was sniper missions. There were story missions. There were all these different... it It was so many games in one. Just a superb game for its time because Nintendo had been out for well three four five six seven eight five five six years and they'd made a let's face it they'd made a lot of bad games a lot of bad games this however coming out late in the times was a pretty good game go go 13 I need to play you again someday Number eight. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. Good old Iron Mike made his game debut right here in 1987. This was the boxing game for the NES. You would fight your way through many, 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 many opponents. And then you would face... Iron Mike Tyson. You played as Kid Dynamite, uh, a boxer, and Mario was even in this game. He was the referee. Uh, 
just a an absolute fantastic boxing game. You started out, you fought Glass Joe, you worked your way up through the ranks and then became the champion after defeating Mike Tyson. And let me tell you, some of these guys were tough. People that played this will remember Mike Tyson's punch out. Number seven. Oh, Kung Fu. Here we go. Released October 18, 1985. Kung Fu was a side-scrolling uh, Kung Fu game. Pretty cut and dry. You played as that little guy. And you fought uh, the other guys. It was a great game. It was originally an arcade game. Um, one of my favorites, but not in my top ten, obviously, because it was not on the list. But you played as, yeah, Kung Fu Master Thomas. You were saving the, his girlfriend, Sylvia. And uh, you just fought your way up the uh, dojo, I guess. And then you fought the last guy, and that was it. Super game, super game. A lot of replay value in my universe. Good old Kung Fu. Number six. Oh, man, I have so many fond memories of this game. Kid Icarus was released. In December of 1986, I had had my Nintendo about a year, and, well, actually, yeah, a year. And you played as Icarus, and it was sort of Mario-esque, um, only instead of being a side-scroller, most of the time you were going up and down. But yeah, you were Icarus, you flew around, uh, not really flew around, you kind of hopped and hovered. Shot your arrow, fought enemies, you were completing the story of Icarus in Angel Land. Um, going after the evil goddess Medusa. It was very, uh, very uh, Greek god-themed. Um, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of people probably wouldn't have this on their top 10 list. It is on mine. Kid Icarus. Such a great game. Number five. Well, you kind of expected this to be here, didn't you? Yeah. Metroid. Good old Metroid. Came out August 6th, 1986. It was an action-adventure game developed and published by Nintendo. It was an open world game, one of the first open world games. Um, really, it was another game sort of uh, riding on the coattails of Alien. Uh, you played as Samus, a sort of intergalactic bounty hunter, and you ran around and you shot aliens and you upgraded your gun arm and upgraded your suit so you could do all different kinds of things like wall crawl, drop bombs, lots of secrets in this game. You pretty much had to have the Nintendo Power or the Game Guide for this to find everything because there wasn't internet. Metroid, fantastic game. Number four. Yep, this is the one I'm doing, folks. Not one, not three, two. Dose. Mario. This was my absolute favorite Mario game. It was released in October 1988 as the sequel to Super Mario Brothers. It was innovative. You could play as one of four characters. You could pick stuff up, you could throw it. You can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, or Princess Peach. Each one had their own definitive style. Mario was a balanced character. Luigi could leap. 
further, Princess could glide, and Toad could pick up stuff really fast. This was just a superb game. I loved this game. It introduced a lot of aspects to Mario that are still there today. But it's, it's acknowledged as not really a Mario game because it originally wasn't. It was a game called, and I'm going to try to say this, Yumi Kojo Doki Doki Panic. It was revamped by putting Mario characters in this game. That's why it is so different from other Mario games. But Mario 2, I love you. Thank you, Mario 2. Number 3. Oh, Batman. Good old Batman was released in 1990, following up the popularity of the release of the 1989 movie starring Michael Keaton and Jack Nicholson. It was the summer, nay, the year of Batman. People were shaving the bat symbol into their high end tights on their heads. This game, you played as Batman, you followed sort of the movie, not really. It was very Ninja Gaiden-esque. You could wall jump. You had many different weapons at your disposal, but such a great game. Even though you were a purple Batman, um, <laughs> there wasn't even an action figure made of the Michael Keaton Batman in purple of just for this game. I played this game so much. Uh, it was one of the games I could just play all the way through without dying. Good old Batman, I miss you. Number two. Well, of course this is gonna be on here. I mean, come on. Legend of Zelda? Yeah, it's gonna be on the list. Legend of Zelda came out in 1987. It has since been re-released many, many times. Um, on the GameCube, Game Boy Advance, it it, it started <laughs> it started a cult, is what it did. Legend of Zelda, you played as Link, traversing through the world of Hyrule, looking for clues and killing monsters and going in dungeons and eventually rescuing the Princess Zelda by battling the evil Lord Ganon and collecting all the pieces of the Triforce. This game was amazing. Like I said, exploded onto the video game scene. This was probably the first action-adventure RPG, kind of an RPG game that anybody ever really had for their home video game system. Legend of Zelda. You cannot go wrong with Legend of Zelda. And my all-time number one Nintendo Entertainment System game is... Dragon Warrior. Oh man, Dragon Warrior. Originally released in Japan as Dragon Quest in 1986, but was then released in 1989 in the United States as Dragon Warrior. Could not be called Dragon Quest because another game, I believe it was a tabletop role-playing game, held the name Dragon Quest. It has since this franchise been changed to Dragon Quest. As you saw, I played the newest one. I got this game in a very strange way because originally there was a Nintendo magazine that you got for free, but then became Nintendo Power with a subscription. And with the subscription, you got this game for free. So in the spring of 89, I got the subscription and I waited didn't come, waited another month, didn't come, waited another month, didn't come, thought this is really strange, I'm not getting my game. Come to find out, at Christmas time, I got the game. The game came in and my parents had wrapped the game up and gave it to me for Christmas. So all that time I was waiting for the game, it had arrived, 
they just wrapped it up and gave it to me for Christmas. So, you know, I had to wait a long time, but I did eventually get it. And I sat all of Christmas break and played this game. This is my favorite video game franchise of all time. But this game is my number one Nintendo game on the Nintendo Entertainment System of all time. And that wraps it up for my all-time top 10 Nintendo Entertainment System games list. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Curse smash that bell so you can get information on all the good things that come out of the digitally remastered network. You've been watching Eli the Game Guy. I have been your host, Eli Williams. We will see you next time. Have a great week. Have a great day. And until then, as always, I hope you get the high score. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Take care. Greetings, game heads. The Digitally Rebastard Network and I would like to thank you for tuning in today. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and click that bell so you can get information on all the good things the DRN has to offer. You've been watching Eli the Game Guy. I've been your host, Eli Williams. Come and join us again, and until then, I hope you get the high school. This has been a DRN production.